and killed a man at the Econo Lodge on 4th Avenue Saturday in broad daylight. Today he had his first court appearance. News 11's Crystal Jimenez was there. She joins us from outside the Yuba County Justice Court with those details. Crystal. Police arrested Isaac Lucero last night, but not before taking police in a pursuit through the city of Yuma. This was a scene last night off of 41st Avenue when one woman walked out of her home after hearing police activity. She says the car was smoking, doors wide open, empty. What started as a vehicle pursuit turned into a foot chase. The whole street rattled by what took place. We were in the kitchen when we heard the sirens and my husband looked through the window when he saw that they were chasing people. Police say three men fled from police and tried to get away by trespassing through the backyards of several residents. One of those men was Isaac Lucero. Police wanted Lucero for allegedly killing a man over the weekend. He was captured along with the other two men. We utilized our relationship with Border Patrol, had them come out. They assisted us with locating the other two suspects from the vehicle. So all three wound up being apprehended. In court today, Lucero faced four different charges, including premeditated murder in the first degree. During the hearing, state attorneys described Lucero as a very dangerous man and say they have eyewitness accounts and surveillance video of him committing the crime last Saturday. His bond was set at $500,000 cash only. Lucero's next appearance will be on Monday, where he will be formally charged. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Jimenez, News 11. Crystal, thanks. And new tonight, the FBI is investigating the killing of a Tohono O'odham police officer.